Today we'll go over how to properly set up your Discord server for the Dane's Leaf pod. We're today on the 15th of March 2023. And yeah, this guide should work for the future. I don't think anything else will change unless Discord decides to do any other drastic changes for bots again, which I hope they don't do because uh, yeah, the introduction of the splash comments was, well, not their best uh, introduction over the years, I would say. But yeah, let's get started. So, first of all, let's make a new server. I'm um, create on my own. Skip this question for the fans. Uh, test server. That's how we're going to call it. So we have a brand new fresh server. What are we going to do? The first thing we should do, go to the top GG page for the bot. As you can see right here. Um, here, Genshin Impact Multifunction bot. Um, you can obviously go through here and list yeah, the most popular features here. As you probably know them already if you've been using the bot. Um, by the way, if you feel free to vote the bot up if you want to, obviously. Um, yeah, so what we need is uh, to hit the invite. So give me one second. So we were logged into the wrong Discord account but now we should be in the right one as you can see right here these are my servers i have access to we want it in the port defense test server so we will invite it to the test server so people have issues with uh giving a bot administrator uh permission what this basically does is the bot has access to any channel on the server it can do anything that can be done on the discord server basically this is why did I set it up? Well, most people don't really know how to set up the permissions properly. And then the bot doesn't properly function because uh, they have screwed up um, server permissions for the bot. And then they end up spamming IDM. So I put on administrator on the def default so that everybody can yeah, basically use the bot upon inviting it. So we can uh, authorize the bot. We will have to do a little catch capture here. Um, each shirt that contains a dog. Hold on, what? It's only this one right here. Weird, okay. Usually it's like four to five or something. This time it was only one. And if we have a look, James Leaf joined the party um, here on the server. And yeah, you as a server owner will never have issues using the bot. Well. If the bot can see the channel. How do you know if a bot can see the channel? You're in the member list um, on desktop. You see the bot available on this side here. If I were to go to the channel permissions. And I make it a private channel. So that everyone cannot see it. Um, the bot technically wouldn't be able to see it. However with the administrator as mentioned earlier. Which the bot has by default. If you keep the check on. Um. The bot has the administer, administrator by default on. It can still see the channel, right? If I go to the role settings for the bot, as you can see right here, and we get rid of the admin. If I could only type, okay, if we clear the permission here and remove it, the bot no longer can see the channel. Now, you as a server owner will still be able to trigger the commands, um, as usual, let's go for char cards and let's say Gene. However, I don't know if they have fixed this on Discord site, but page interaction shouldn't work, for example. Oh yeah, okay, page interactions work now, okay. So that used to be an issue, uh, I think a year ago. That's the last time I uh, encountered it. Well, there's also select menus which had have had issues uh operating when the bot wasn't able to see the channel so let's test that out um well i don't really need to mention any users um as you can see it will query my own it takes a little bit to load obviously to generate the image so um just be patient so we have the image and let's interact with tartaglia does it work interaction failed okay so select menu still don't work if the bot can't see the channel that's very important that's why the bot requires permissions channel permission um to be able to see the channel that's why it's very important that you set up the bot in a specific way 
and that's why i recommend you to give the bot um administrator permissions so that you don't have to do it uh, channel by channel essentially um but it's up to you um if you have the time and motivation to do it personalized for every single channel all right so if the bot sees the channel now and if i trigger the command again it should work and should generate an image oh interaction failed again that's odd let me see that's very odd let me see profile you really never know how discord set up their things it's uh very yeah i don't know i'm not a fan of the slash commands and i don't think any real well any other bot de bleh, developer that has been working on bots before slash commands really came out is a fan of it either too so um let's have a check maybe this didn't work because the interaction was old but it seems that this one worked yeah okay this didn't work because the bot didn't have access to the channel and the interaction was triggered so it lost kind of sight of the interaction um which shouldn't happen but i guess it happened that way um yeah so if you see the bot if the bot can see the channel as we can see on the members list here and then you trigger the command the select menu will work if you trigger the command the command gets executed you see the front page of the command but the bot can't see the channel you will not be able to use the select menus um unfortunately so make sure the bot has access to the channel this again can be done easily by uh, enabling administrator or adding a member uh this time here uh dane sleeve and making sure the it's checked on and uh, yeah can send messages those are the two requirements you really need um yeah there's actually something i forgot um emotes very important well not too very important but um so when we use the command for example weapon info and we go for wolf graystone um as you can see right here there's emojis that need to be displayed Sometimes it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Well, uh, there's missing permission, but I think uh, the bot gets through the at everyone. I think uh, the, yeah, use external emojis is on by the default. If you're on a big server, usually this setting is uh, disabled by default because people can join the server and add, uh, use their own not safe for work. So what happens is when we use this command again, um slash weapon info and let's say gamma spell for example um emojis should not appear you'll see them in this text form all right let's say you want to make sure the bot has access to emojis still what you can do is you can go to the channel settings and the permissions and then you can add the bot at least you would think this works well usually uh discord fucks up stuff like that so recently it wasn't working i'm not sure if they actually fixed it so um we can have a little test here re-query the same command and see if the bot can use emojis as you can see the bot has emoji permissions but it doesn't work so what you need to do to make sure this works when you have a bot channel um a dedicated channel for the bot right you need to make sure that everyone has uh, emoji permission not the bot but at everyone if at everyone has external emoji permission in that channel as you can see right here if we re-query the command it will work i don't know how they messed this up on their side well it's discord so um I, my expectations are not that high but as you can see now it works here. if we turn the at everyone off just to show you again the sleeve has external emoji permissions and at everyone has it and if we hit it off or we put it on uh undecided essentially and uh, we re-query that command it will unfortunately not work as you can see right here all the emojis not working um yeah so make sure there's a channel with at everyone can use um external emojis or um in the default settings um that at everyone can use it I'm also not too sure if the uh, bot role itself, when it has emoji 
uh, usage permissions. We can actually test that out and see if that works. Um, if that works, I'm not too sure. Yeah, it also doesn't work. So you need to have one of the two everyone's the channel everyone or the server everyone needs to have external emoji um, permissions. All right, now we can go over, I think the more important part is uh, you as a server owner, you know, always have access to any flash command in any channel whatsoever. So that's not gonna be an issue for you. But how do you properly set it up for your users to use the um, bot properly? All right, so this is the general chat. Usually you don't want the users to be able to use the bot in the general chat. Usually people have a bot dedicated channel. So let's create a new channel, um, bot channel. And there will be different permissions for both of these um, channels. First of all, let's remove the uh, private channel here and set it back to a normal public channel. As you can see right here. So what you always want to do is you don't want people to use the slash commands in a channel. Very important. Use application commands, check mark, or well, cross it out. That's the easiest way to prohibit people from using the um, application command. Now if I go to the bot channel and change it over there, where I check it on, we can have a look in the um, well, role settings where you can emulate a role, how it's uh, look how it looks at the server. And if we type slash here, you don't see the slash commands for uh, Dainsley. However, if we go to the bot channel and we type slash, we could actually use the um, yeah the slash commands with the rule at everyone. So that's very neat. So if you want to check if something works, you can use this method by uh, viewing server as certain rule. All right. Another thing that can be used is um, selective um, well selective filtering for certain roles, users, channels for each command or all commands together. So this is then the um, integration integration section of the um, server. And then you obviously select bots under bots and apps. You select game sleep. And here you have the overview over all commands. There are um, all global commands that are on day sleep. So, and then you have these two sections here, roles and members or channels. So if it's right now checked on for hashtag all channels, that the bot works in all channels. By the way, these settings will never affect you as a server owner. Again, as mentioned earlier, you can use the commands in any channel under any settings. It will not matter for you as a server owner. As you have max permissions, essentially. Um, people who played uh, Minecraft would call it God mode, essentially. That's what it is. Um, but for your users, anybody else aside you as a server owner, these settings will affect them. So what you can do is, um, you can block out the bot from all channels and only say, okay, I want to have, um, all right. So let's say you want people to use it only in the bot channel. So you cross out all channels and you add a channel, which is bot channel here. Now your users will only be able to use or interact with the bot in the bot channel. So we can hit save changes. Let's say we um, revert to changes of uh, people not being able to use application commands in the normal channel. We check it on. So technically they should be able to use it here, right? If you view the server as the at everyone role, as you can see right here, if we have the slash set up here, it works perfectly fine, but if we go into the, um, as you can see right here, in the general channel, which we just activated in the channel settings, the use of application commands, we still cannot use them since it's it's, it's disabled in the integration section. It's pretty, pretty neat. That allows you to do, well, customized um, 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 settings for certain channels and certain roles. Okay, as you can see right here, and everyone has access to the commands, right? Let's create a new role. Let's call a test really quick. 
and um, then we go back to integrations and we say not everyone should be able to use it but we want a test to be able to use it right so you know the bot channel in the bot channel we can access the um, um, slash commands but if we now check out the um, bot channel and type slash we will no longer be able to use the Dainsley slash commands unless we have the test rule which I will give myself here really quick if we check the slash commands now they reappear again as you can see so you have to keep in mind integration settings override channel settings and then channel settings obviously can still add another layer of security basically um where you have um as you can see we can act actually use um um the slash commands under the test row in the bot channel but if we were to let's say um go to the bot channel with the permissions and let's say we disable it for the um at everyone and we add the test role here really quick and we say test users or test role users cannot use application application command now if we go into the server settings again under roles and then we emulate the server under set role we have here test role equipped as you can see right here and if we use the slash you see again the sleeve leave commands not available at all these are the ways you can manage and or control who can use certain slash commands on what channels as you can see right here um we've been only working with the global settings here for the all the commands now these settings can be applied to each and every single command as you can see right here um as you can see right here the let's say for example i don't know the fishing command right has a uh, certain overrides um by default if you don't have anything else set up it will take whatever um is set by default and your default will always be what you have here at the top right and then you can do manual changes here where you would be like okay i want just want to work in all the channels right and instead of test everyone should be able to use it so you add that and now when you save it, it has overrides as you can see so the base settings will no longer apply but actually the overrides we have here will apply so now if i go to the channel where i um emulate again as uh, at everyone if i um hit the slash command here um id pops up because we have a yeah a specific override for that command now if i um remove that again as you can see right here in a second if we reset it to what it was essentially where it goes to the default settings and we emulate the role again as at everyone it will no longer be able to yeah use the id command but that's pretty much the um yeah basis of how you set up um the bot properly for people to use in your server obviously i could go in depth but i think the fundamentals are explained now and everybody should be able to get this and yeah i think i will end the video here i hope that you found this helpful um if you did make sure to subscribe and yeah catch you later